What's going on, YouTube people? Welcome back to the channel. So it's kind of occurred to me that when you look at pictures of my car, when I look at pictures of my car, it looks kind of boring. It looks like there's not much done to it. Like if you didn't know what was under the hood, it looks stock with wheels and it honestly doesn't even look lowered. The 15, the 17 WRX, even the 18 and 20s, like it's like the, the nose of the car sits upward a little bit, I guess so that you know, you don't rub as much when you go over stupid bumps or whatever. I don't, I don't know. And it still doesn't even look lowered. So I was thinking, what will make my car look better at the same ride height? So that's what this is for. And then the other end of the car, you can't really have a, a little like this down at the front of the car without something on the back of it to kind of even it out, to give it that little, like a, a little, you know. It's finally time for some aero mods. I've already opened this a little bit to see what the paint matching was like. It's basically the eBay version of the OLM High Point. Spoiler. Why did I, why did I not get my knife? Walk away from me. Boom, there it is. Looks like that. Goes right here. Oh. We worship the Lord of Thermodynamics. Wind displacement. Anyway, now for the real star of the show. Uh, oh Jesus. Ta-da! Giant box. Pretty sure you can guess by the size of it. Wouldn't be hard to figure out. It's fairly simple. I think there's like six screws that hold it in. Some people use nut bolts because the, uh, what's it called? Uh, whenever you put it in that it doesn't, you just, they keep and it just strips out the plastic because there's nothing there. Just don't be stupid. It's, ta-da, it's a lip. Who would've thought? It does come with hardware, see hardware. And it's a lip. It's exactly what you would expect. See, you can see the shadow. Uh, it's the CS style lip. It's very basic. It's very flimsy. I think I paid like $120. You can find it for $80, but I was like, eh, let's not go the cheapest one possible. Let's go somewhat cheap. You see the shape of it? This part right here is the biggest part. There's no underside though, which is kind of weird. It's, I don't know. I mean, it's exactly what you would expect for like an $80 to $100 lip. Like, it's not solid, it just makes it look cool. The whole like nose coming up part, it just, we need we need this to flat. We just need it flat. This angle right here will do, and then it'll look flat, and there won't be anything there, so we'll see if it lasts. Um, it comes with pre-drilled holes already in it, so that makes it a little bit easier to find the placement and the fitment of it, I hope. I assume, I don't know. around my car it doesn't make any sense first thing we're gonna do is use a little bit of painters tape and get it mocked up get it to fit where we want it and kind of hold it in place because I'm doing this by myself piece of shit. More tape. Oh, of course I didn't pull enough tape. Damn it. Come on. 
This is difficult. I'm not long enough. Okay, gotcha. Stay. Spider Man, my way over the other side. Stick. I said stick. Stick. But here's what we got. Right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. These two are barely holding anything. This one ripped, so it's barely holding anything. This thing is like, this thing is the real game changer right here. And then this is ridiculous. I got it lined up right here just perfectly. We want that line to be just where it is. Kind of wanted this angle right here to come off the front of that a little bit. But I just don't think that's possible. I don't know, we'll start with the pop clips and then we'll work on the other crap. Oh wait, I didn't get pop clips with mine. If you look around for install videos of these on the internet, there's some that come with like brackets on the edges and some that come with pop clips for the middle. Mine came with screws, that's it. So we're just gonna send it and hope for the best. In my mind, the edge of this lip, if it's not lined up exactly where it needs to be, is gonna make the biggest difference. So we're gonna drill these in first on both sides. Here goes nothing. That's all you need. You don't need to go more than that. Let's go to the other side. We just want one because the more holes we drill, the harder this thing's gonna be to adjust. And we know how good I am at screwing shit up, so let's go to the other side. Just look what I did. You see that big old gap? There's a big old gap. All right, new hole in the bumper. Make sure it's pushed up tight to the bumper. Nice and slow, take it easy, you don't have to, don't have to rush it. Much, much better. Kind of push it into position where we want it. There we go. There we go. Shouldn't come off. All right, now. Now we're gonna go from the center one, we're gonna go outwards. Oh, Jesus. There, there. They're all in there. You can see all the way around. Come on, focus. Focus on my hand. Oh, it's on manual focus. Why the hell is it on manual? Guys, if this has been on manual focus for like the whole video, I apologize. That looks so much better. Just sitting on the ground, it like completely changes the front end. I, I'm so happy with it. I was not excited at first because it's been sitting in my room for, uh, oh, mm, a month and a half at least. I should have done this a long time ago. All right, so now we're gonna get to our wing. Spoiler, whatever you wanna call it, it's not a wing, it's a spoiler. A wing is, this is a wing, this is a spoiler. Anyway, we got 3M tape, we got a few little screws in there. So the thing comes with three little screws on the back side, so you don't have to just rely on the 3M tape. It makes it a little bit more secure. One, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. There's eight of them. They're really easy to take out. Easy. The corner of the trunk is right here. So there's one right here. There's one right there, which means there's, I don't know if you can see that. See that blue? There we go. There's a clip right there. It's an eight. I don't have an eight. I have five sixteenths. Five sixteenths is an eight. It's the same thing. Just like half of a millimeter difference. Whatever. By the power of Grayskull!
Some little shitters on tight. Pop clip in the middle, one over here, one over here. So you definitely want to use plastic for these because I kind of feel like this might scratch the paint anyway, but I don't really have a lot else to work with. one hey way easier than I thought it's all really ugly why are you on manual focus come on auto focus stupid there we go 3m tape set now, we're gonna trim this down first of all so it's not like hanging off the side there. And we're gonna take a little bit of this and we're just gonna stick the end of it and let it hang out, right? All right. Got it lined up about as good as I can tell. Oh yeah, yeah, we're lined up. We are lined up. And you can see the brass fitting right through the hole. Nope, focus on that. I recommend a magnetic screwdriver. Okay. 3M time. This is really satisfying. And we're gonna screw it down, tighten them little suckers up. As long as they're threaded, they're gonna stay in there. Dude, oh, I love it. I love this thing, it looks so sick. It looks so sick. Boom, chakalaka. So, you can see, very nice and pretty. There's no real gaps. Looks very nice and clean. It fits perfectly, like, for being like a little cheap eBay replication of something, very nice. That was kind of garbage. That was perfect. All right, thanks for watching everybody. Thanks for subscribing. I'm gonna go take some pictures. I'll put those at the end. Uh, don't forget to hit the notification bell because I don't make videos very consistently because I have a nine to five job and it's, <sighs> life is hard sometimes. This is the way. <laughs>